Oh, uh, I've been waiting for the uh, number four welding tip so I could finish welding this thing together. Uh, but they told me it would be three days and it's been close to three weeks. So I'm giving up on uh, this idea and I've got these plates that I made up that are going to weld to the bottom of the frame and get rid of this piece of crap that's too thin. I got some nice thick stuff here. Uh, so I got to drill those out. Uh, I know these are one inch apart. So I'll bolt the shackle down here and then I can make sure I line up the third hole. I'll just put the two of them together, clamp them and start drilling. All right, we're all set up on the uh, milling machine. Super Max and uh, Get that hole. <laughs> yeah. that. There we go. There's the first hole. Get this junk off my machine. Okay, we got the first one done. We're right on zero. Two, four. Six, eight, ten. Right on zero there, that's one inch. Okay, so much for center drill. Okay, we've got a three-eighths inch drill. Because it's three-eighths inch bolts, so I don't know if they're gonna fit too good, I may have to give it a few thousands extra. locate this
Okay, well next I gotta cut this weld off and drop this fake panel down. Let me see if I can't, uh, there we go. thing notice I cut the inner corners off to save uh, myself from getting gashed in the head later on
jack down. Do it for now. I gotta weld the rest of it. it. Looks like it's not gonna fit flush here. Where's the other side? I'm gonna have to heat something up. Yes. Yeah. That's the same way. No. So hey, uh, UPS guy just came, and there's my number four tip. But since I already gave up on using that and doing the uh, thinner piece of sheet metal, I guess I'm going to go with the number is this two. I must have been doing something else. I can't use the two. So I guess I'll try the uh, number four. If that's going to work, I'll move up to a five. Or a seven, I've got a seven. This better fit. Okay, it does. So there it is, looks pretty good. Welded it all the way across, shaped it up in here. Uh, now I gotta do the same on the side. But I don't want this uh, the video lasting a long time because it takes forever to upload. Uh, so I'll finish up welding and then I'll show you what it looks like. Well, there it is. It's all welded up and uh, hammered into shape. And it's still a little long. But I got the first side done. And I think that's going to hold. 
I don't think I'll have to weld on the inside. Uh, yeah, I think I'll pass on that. Now I gotta do the other side and then um, I'll be done with the frame for a while. Yep, so there it is all welded up and painted. Both sides are done. And uh, got some paint on these too. So now I guess next step is uh, I gotta do some brakes. I ordered some wheel cylinders for the back from uh, Rock Auto. Uh, I got the Wagner. I didn't buy the cheapest ones because brakes, you gotta go with you got to go with the best on brakes. You can't go with the cheap stuff. That is if you want to stop. Uh, still got to get some brake drums and shoes, but uh, I'll worry about that later. Meanwhile, uh, I've got to uh, raise some cash. So I got the 67 Mustang out front with a for sale sign on it. And then there's always this thing here. This is a... Well, this, here's the problem. See, doing all this work down here, scooched over, inked them for my back. And in here, there's a lift underneath this truck. The truck's just been sitting here all year. So I gotta take this truck out of here and put it in my front garage where the 65 Mustang is parked. Since it's not going anywhere, the Mustang I can drive in and out when I need to. Because I need to put this in there on the lift because I gotta do some rust repair. As you can see, I don't know if you can see it or not, but it looks kind of rotten down in here in the bottom edges. So we've got to, uh, we're going to put a satin black paint job on it uh, after I get done with these rust panels. And uh, as you can see, we've been scraping it down with a razor blade because uh, the last paint job they put on there was really crappy. You see how it's all peeling and coming apart. So, uh, the best part of this car, I don't know if I mentioned it before, the engine <coughs> is a 429. Uh, it looks like it could use a cleaning and maybe a nice new chromed air filter. Or at least paint that one black. Tape off the sticker. And uh, we get that done see if we can't sell this one. But this is Richard, so I ain't going to get much money out of this, just the cost of the paint job and the body work. Uh, what I really want to do is sell that Mustang out front. And then I can buy floors for that cab. And brakes and everything for this. I need a master cylinder with a power booster. And uh, I may need some new front calipers on those uh, Fiero brakes. Uh, but I guess that's it for now until I get some more cash to put into it. But there's still plenty of projects going on around here, so I'll keep going with these videos. Next one will probably be, be that uh, patching that thing up. And uh, later on today, I've got a, my grandchildren come over. I'm going to have them clean out the grumman. It's kind of messy. As you can see, i got a vacuum cleaner. I'll set the little tykes loose in there with a vacuum cleaner. And oh, look at that, uh, chrome-plated button. <laughs> Wonder if that's supposed to go to something. It's uh, knurled edges on it. Oh well, it's trash now.